right guys welcome back to another building tutorial so we're currently just finishing up this particular tower and uh, we got everything built but the roof and the decorations so we still need to do that in today's episode so uh, yeah it turned out pretty good we just need that part uh, the stairs we worked on on the inside so you can get up and down quite easily and there's even a pool of water that you can jump right into and uh, get all the way down when you need to. So that's pretty cool. I thought maybe just putting like a little fountain type thing there would probably work really well. So, And it also is extra decoration. So let's go up to the um, top here. And what we'll do is we'll start working on the roof. Now I want to use dark oak for this. So I'm just going to use uh, some planks. Now the border... Let's see if I can figure out where the border. The border is two blocks above, right? So we might be able to go up. Uh, let's see, we'll do something like this, I guess. Um, maybe not that. Something like that, I guess. And then four that way. One, two and then one two three four and then one two and then one two three four and then one two and then one two three four all right so that'll be where that part comes down we can go up one more block from that so what i'm going to do is uh for the center piece i'm just going to fill this in like that and then we can use some stairs and stuff to decorate the uh, edges to make it look a little bit more round. Well, you know, the um, more detailed. So just fill all this in. All right, so that's the beginning. And then we can just fill this up. So it's like this. I might want to double it up as well. So... Something like that. Just trying to keep it as even as possible. All right, and then right about here. All right, well, let's take an aerial view and almost the exact same. We'll do this side right here. Yeah, that should work out fine. All right, so now we need some dark oak stairs, and I'm going to grab those, and then what we can do is, uh, or should we use slabs? We should probably use slabs, I think, just because it's more round. So we'll go like this, and once we get this part in, what we can do is work on the next level down. It'll be kind of like a sloped roof. So we'll kind of go down. So I'll cut into time lapse and I'll work on the roof a little bit. And then uh, I can kind of show you guys the uh, progress in a little bit.
so we got the roof done and it's a nice little cone shaped so it should be good for what we need to do up here now i wanted to put some chests and stuff up here for the uh, loot tables and just have some general items that we can drop now i'm not sure where we should actually put them um because it's a pretty even build so maybe uh, we can put some i'm not sure maybe we'll do something like a cargo area and just use some different types of blocks and stuff like that to kind of decorate uh where some chests and stuff can go so let's uh put down maybe a cargo area over here we'll just put a couple barrels and maybe a chest and crafting table and something like that maybe a couple chests we'll put put another one over here this one could just be uh for unuse kind of like an unused uh, thing put another barrel like that and that one will be our loot chest and maybe another one over here somewhere so just kind of place down some random things like that crafting table a couple chests and we'll put our custom one over here maybe another one there yeah that would work we'll actually uh, tilt the barrel on its side so it looks a little bit like that that'll look better and we can actually decorate it with some lanterns as well we can place a couple lanterns down put one here and we'll put another one on the other crafting table here all right, so that part's good. We got our area where our loot tables are going to be. <clears throat> uh, we still need to kind of decorate the top here. I was thinking maybe decorating it with some cracked stone bricks and stuff like that. We'll just give it a little bit more character than just a plain texture. So we can do some mossy ones as well. It is exposed to the elements, so we can just kind of decorate it a little bit. Perfect. All right, so that's basically it. Uh, that will decorated a little bit more now I'm not sure if 1.7 has the moss blocks or not I don't think they do yeah they don't um, it's kind of inconvenient but uh, that's a 1.18 feature so we could alternatively use uh, let's see here uh, green carpet I guess I think that's the closest one to the moss moss uh, thing so we can kind of decorate it using some carpets to make it look like the moss blocks until at least 1.8 is released and then you could end up using the moss ones so something like that just kind of decorate it a little bit just kind of imagine that it's the moss and then you kind of get the idea of what it looks like all right, so something like that. And that should be good, all right. And I'm just gonna kinda offset some of these so it's um, more pixelated around the edges, just to kinda give the impression that it's um, kinda like spreading and stuff, so. Something like that some more over here yeah that looks really good all right and uh, let's see what else can we put up here uh, we could probably put some plants and where should we put the plants? We should probably put the plants along the edges here. I think that would look really good. And then we'll do some dark oak saplings there. And it's just basically random on the size that I'm basically doing. I'm trying to keep it so it's um, 
not the same size connected to the each in each one. So I wouldn't put two like that. I would do either uh, one or three like that. So that's basically what I'm doing. And if it's on a different block, then I usually, I can do the second one, but I usually go with uh, like a different one, whatever kind of feels right for the height level and stuff. So that's basically my pattern of doing it. So like this one right here, for example, I would probably go down like that because this one over here is like a three. So that's kind of what I've been doing. Do three, one, two, one, three, two, one. Actually, that should probably be a three, two, three, and we'll do one, no, we'll do two. And then we'll, yeah, we'll do two and three like that. All right, so that'll be kind of pretty good, like the way it is. So it's kind of already coming together. It's starting to take shape, which is good. Um, we might want to add, I'm not sure if we can, um, if it's going to be dark enough up here. It might be dark enough. Probably not there, but we can add a little bit of mushrooms in some of these darker areas. Uh, maybe some red ones as well. I'm not sure if they'll stay, but it's worth a shot. And that, so there we go. Uh, we'll actually replace these ones with red. And then we'll replace um, these red ones over here with brown. So like that. All right, so that's about it. I think that's pretty good for this level. Uh, down here, I wanted to put some bookshelves. Now, um, the interior, obviously, as we get further down into the building parts, is gonna be harder to decorate, and it's gonna take a lot more time. Uh, I figure we'll probably have at least two episodes of decoration just to get most of it done, and then, um, we can kind of, I don't know, start working on the spawners and stuff like that. Now, um, now I wanted to get the gist of this particular room the and the one below it uh, mostly done for decoration today. So I'm just going to go into another time lapse and then we can kind of do most of that a little bit faster. So I'll do that right now.
so we got the roof done. We got uh, three levels of decoration done. The um, roof, the two top floors, and then we got uh, at least, I would say in, until this level here. So we'll have another episode of decoration. We'll need to add the spawners in that episode. And uh, yeah, I think that will be pretty good. Now let's just take a quick look at what it looks like. It looks like some actual mushrooms grown, so that's pretty cool. And uh, we got some cargo. We'll set up the loot tables for that chest and the chest over here. So those will be the two loot things. There'll be also be some spawners up here that will add pillagers ever so often. And uh, down here is the library. So basically just a um, room with bookshelves and stuff like that. Some mushrooms and chains and stuff like that as well just kind of give it kind of like a pillager feel i added great carpet and down here is basically like the brewing area so i've replaced some of the car uh the, the spruce flooring with uh, spruce trap doors it just gives a little bit different look um both for the ceiling and for the uh floor itself so and there's some brewing stands with uh instant health potion too uh, there's some flowers on the uh, outer window sill. Uh, I don't think you can actually jump. Oh, no, you can jump out now. Uh, you can still jump out, should I say. So you have to be careful of that. And I added some of these uh, new torches, uh, soul torches, just because they look very magical and stuff like that. So I thought I would add them next to the brewing stands. Uh, this one doesn't actually have too much decoration in it, but um, might add a little bit more next episode i don't know exactly what else to add at the current moment i'm sure something will pop into my mind we can't use um item frames or uh, armor stands or anything like that because uh things don't actually um export properly with the uh structure blocks uh from what i remember so uh, we'll have to figure out what we can do with uh, some different types of decoration blocks. Like this is very empty, so we can probably figure something out there. But um, outside of that, that's all the time that I have for today. If you're new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe, comment down below for the video, and I will see you guys next time. Thanks for watching. Peace out.